This is the story of a Let's Player called Bram. Bram used to spend most of his time recording Let's Plays, editing them, and maintaining BBJ Publishing, his YouTube channel. He covered all kinds of games until time management and technical issues brought forth so much delay that years had passed since he covered any games. Now, however, he restarts a new adventure. Collectibles. Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you? You didn't even try to make it loop. Collect them all. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Not sure why all the mannequins, but sure. <laughs> you found it! Okay. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. I, uh, I, I must hear your elaborations on. Oh, thank gosh, there's a map. Okay, jump circle, done. This map, done. Free achievement, done. The button that says the name of the but player that is playing the game, done. Merch, Z. Where the heck is Z? Z is over there next to setting world champion. Hold on, I saw a setting world champion earlier. Where was that? Yeah, maybe maybe we should go check out the infinite hole. Yeah, let's go check out the infinite hole. Oh, wait, hold on. That's another door. What's in here? Oh, that's the balloons. Okay. Concrete contemplations. And, oh, I can barely get over there. The holy moly. How deep can we dig? Uh, quite dig, quite deep, actually. <sighs> Time, space, and energy, and the big bang. Particles, atoms, molecules, tiny planets and stars, galaxies, my tea. <sighs> Why does this look like a particle accelerator? Or just a nuclear reactor? It just keeps going! I can barely read those on the chart. I mean, luckily this is in, in, in a fictional universe and thus black Stanley, holes are much easier to do. Here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. Uh, yes it, it has. Fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. My dude, have you never seen Portal? You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. <sighs> you know you can do something like this in Portal, right? Like, I get that you're not just falling endlessly deeper down a hole, more like you're just, you know, being thrown to the top over and over again, but th this has been done before. Anyway. Whee! You see, isn't it wonderful? Not really. I'll more ingenious concoctions if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Great, now 
I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Hold on. Okay, and I guess we're back in the hotel now. <laughs> Did you really need to see it again? No. I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite O. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spent quite a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again, so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stan. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. <laughs> Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling <laughs> too much. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, the things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. I, only Why you. Don't we just put I, I'm mute. Behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly. <laughs> mostly <laughs> if That works for you. Then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. But what if we're not ready to move on? See, that's what I was not thinking of. And then I realized, oh yeah, there's probably some additional dialogue. I was not anticipating it to not actually be infinite. Uh. All right, Mr. Narrator, do you have any additional lines or not really? Are we just waiting? Or you're, you're just patiently waiting for us. Oh, I kind of want to see this in... in. I know Boundary Bake did a video of this uh, game. Um, if, if, if you're waiting for to finish seeing me play through everything, just wait on that. I'm waiting on it until I can actually finish the game. Um, but still. Uh, yeah, I don't think he has any more... I don't think he has any more lines. But what if we go back in again? Oh, for heaven. <laughs> you see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, yeah, an infinite hole right there goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you only. Oh, no, no, no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. Same! Admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was... And that hole does not seem well, further you away. What do here? If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Gosh, how could I have guessed? <laughs> back in the hole but it's just so funny away. when you react. That is significantly shorter. Yes, I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? I don't Stanley, know. I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. <laughs> Neither do I. Let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Oh, I love this. Well, there it is. The shame of my life. <laughs> How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is. Oh, I'm sorry I interrupted you. Teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Is the um teleport button not working? Yeah. You sure? Yep. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Nope. Still nothing. Well, I suppose I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. 
You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for <laughs> everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. I was not trying to get an ending while here. Mr. Narrator! Mr. Narrator! Okay, and we're back to that. Now, let's change our perception. <laughs> I was down here in the room, where in the hole with Stanley. All of a sudden, the bottom of the hole just started growing deeper and deeper. Just look at that face, he doesn't know what to say. that music. It, it, hold on, isn't that straight up from Tetris can effect? This is straight from Tetris effect, right? I, I have no idea what to say to any of this. Do you ever hear that? Because you love the fur of you. I don't know it. Do 
saying right now they are so few and far between and i'm grateful for the memorability of each moment moments wrapped in romance that end with bitter sunrises and goodbyes moments so fragile and rare that i wonder if they would have the same taste if not such a delicacy but i'd still devour you as i lay here and recall years of wavering emotions suppressed desires and volcanic explosions that retreat into dormancy i wonder could we ever flow together or are we two twin souls finding each other in the wrong lifetime i have you on repeat grasping for tender moments i hold on to like delicate keepsakes <laughs> This is a full track. And, and there's a loop. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's looping. Rain. It was raining here earlier. It's not now. I like the rain. But not enough to continue listening to this.
Crows, crows, crows. How many tracks did you put in here? That, that is an extremely short loop. Y yeah, you guys didn't patch this one together great. But to be fair, how many tracks did I have listened to through for until I got to this one? Okay, are we back to the front again? It's definitely up there. Have we heard this one? But well, we haven't heard the techno one yet. Yeah, we're looping. All right. So, what happens when we change our reality? It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Is it happening again? Nope. No, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna end eventually. Oh, just drop me off right here. Cool. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. There's the merchandise. 